It was learned the deposition was unsealed, based, at least in part, on a controversial speech Cosby gave in 2004. These are people going around stealing Coca-Cola. People getting shot in the back of the head over a piece of pound cake. And then we all run out and we're outraged. Oh, the cop shouldn't have shot him. The hell was he doing with the pound cake in his hand? Judge Eduardo Robreno cited Cosby's moral high ground in his pound cake speech as a reason to release the deposition, writing that while Cosby's celebrity status would not have been enough, he had, quote, donned the mantle of public moralist and mounted the proverbial electronic or print soapbox to volunteer his views on, among other things, child rearing, family life, education, and crime, end quote. With the release of excerpts of that 2005 deposition, it's Bill Cosby's own words that provide the strongest evidence so far for more than two dozen women, alleging the 77-year-old comedian drugged and raped them. In it, Cosby admitted to having seven prescriptions for quaaludes. He was asked, when you got the quaaludes, was it in your mind that you were going to use the quaaludes for young women that you wanted to have sex with? Cosby responded, yes. That admission thrilling to Victoria Valentino, who says Cosby drugged her in 1970. I was absolutely elated. I, I couldn't stop just screaming, you know. I was just going, oh my God, oh my God. I mean, because obviously we already knew. So uh, this was just validation and vindication. The deposition also reveals that when lawyers pressed Cosby asking, did you ever give any of those young women the quaaludes without their knowledge? Cosby's attorney stepped in, telling him not to answer the question. He is also asked about another woman. Quote, she meets me backstage. I give her quaaludes. We then have sex, end quote. Cosby also says, I can't judge at this time what she knows about herself for 19 years, a passive personality. The questioning doesn't specify if she took the pills knowing what they were. Asked if the young lady was starstruck, Cosby responds, you will have to ask her. The story sounds eerily familiar to Victoria Valentino. She hopes these revelations send a strong message. I think the message has to be that fame and wealth and power cannot exempt you from justice. You cannot exempt anyone from the law. From, from morality, from doing something to somebody against their will. And Boris Sanchez joins me now. Has Bill Cosby or his representatives, have they addressed these uh, most recent revelations? Uh, his attorney has essentially said that no authorized comment has been put out, and his publicist has said that there are no plans to put out a comment, so we'll just have to wait and see.